Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on The Merchant of Venice and we get to hear from Portia today in Act 3, Scene 2. Remember, he didn't delineate scenes, but whatever, that's not important. We're finishing up Act 3, Scene 2 today is what we're getting at. So we started out the scene with Bassanio choosing a box. He chose the lead box, which had the picture of Portia in it, which means he gets to marry her. And they're both super happy about that. And Graciano and, and Nerissa had been making eyes at each other over there. And they fall in love and they want to get married at the same time. But then Lorenzo and Jessica and... Solerio, sometimes known as Salarino, come in with a letter for Bassanio from Antonio. And Bassanio has to then come clean to Portia and say, you know, I have less than nothing. I had to borrow money to come and woo you. And this is a letter from the man that I borrowed money from. And he's in a really bad place because all of his ships and he turns to Solerio, he's like, seriously, all of his ships are gone? And yesterday's monologue was Solerio saying, yes, all of his ships are gone. He can't pay Shylock back. But even if he could, Shylock would rather take the pound of flesh. He'd rather have the bond than the money. And Jessica chimes in afterwards and she's like, yeah, I, heard, I overheard him talking to his friends and he would rather have the pound of flesh than the money. And Portia's like, well, hang on, this guy's a good friend of yours? This, this Antonio is a good friend of yours? And Bassanio's like, yeah. And she's like, well, how much, how much does he owe? And Antonio is like, or sorry, Bassanio is like, 3,000 ducats? And Portia says, what, no more? <laughs> Pay him 6,000 and deface the bond. Double 6,000 and then treble that before a friend of this description shall lose a hair through Bassanio's fault. First, Go with me to church and call me wife. And then away to Venice to your friend, for never shall you lie by Portia's side with an unquiet soul. You shall have gold to pay the petty debt 20 times over. When it is paid, bring your true friend along. My maid, Nerissa, and myself, meantime, will live as maids and widows. Come away for you shall hence upon your wedding day. Bid your friends welcome, show a merry cheer. Since you are dear bought, I will love you dear. But let me hear the letter of your friend. Sweet Bassanio, my ships have all miscarried. My creditors grow cruel. My estate is very low. My bond to the Jew is forfeit. And since in paying it, it is impossible I should live, all debts are cleared between you and I. If I might see you at my death, notwithstanding, use your pleasure. If your love do, do not persuade you to come, let not my letter. O oh, love, dispatch all business and be gone. So interesting side note, in the folio, it doesn't explicitly say that Bassanio reads the letter, which is why I just had Portia read the letter, but in a lot of versions, Bassanio reads the letter. But real quick, before we get to the actual letter, she's like, go save your friend. I will give you 60,000 ducats so you can repay the debt 20 times over. Just go pay it. It's not that big of a deal. First, we have to get married. And then you're going to go pay it. And while you're in Venice, uh, Nerissa and I are going to stay here and we're going to pretend that we're widows and we'll be all chaste and everything like that. Remember, Portia gave Bassanio a ring and said, if you ever take this ring off, then we're done. Um, I believe, has Nerissa already given Graziano the ring? If she hasn't, she's very soon going to also give him a ring and say, if you ever lose this, then we're done too. But Portia, she's putting her faith in Bassanio, saying, go take care of your friend. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to be chaste. So let's go get married so you can read, so you can go help your friend. And then she reads the letter and the couple of sort of lovely things in the letter are Antonio, like he knows that he's in a bad place. He knows that he's going to die. But he says, since I'm about to die, our debts are even. Like, Wipe that slate clean. Don't even worry about it if you can make it back to see me before I die. Which is kind of a heart-wrenching piece of friendship between these two guys. So anyway, Portia 
hears that or reads it and realizes that and she's like you have to go save him so let's get married you can go save him and Bassanio's like okay let's go do this thing and that is the end of act three scene two so I will see you tomorrow and we will get to see if Bassanio is able to get to Antonio in time to save his life because this is a comedy and that's what you do in comedies right anyway I'll see you tomorrow for more Mwah.